I would just sum him up. I think in a couple of words, he's stubborn. He's a real character of the club, is David. He's uh, absolutely loyal. He's highly respected by people. Larger than life. He's very dedicated. But he's got a great work ethic. There are people in life that talk, and there's a people in life that do, and, and what he's proven himself is to be a real doer. He's a one-off. One's first meeting with him was in a bit of awe. He was the idol and hero. Saints through and through, as we all know. He's one of those great characters of what, what is Northampton Saints. Honest direct, which sometimes means that his bark is far worse than his bite. He's always got a lot to say, of course, and he still has. A great uh, man to have by his side on the rugby pitch. He was a very fit man. He always tried to lead from the front. He always tried to be in front. Piggy was one of the first, um, what we call, new era props. And as a player, uh, you knew for a fact that you were in for a hard, hard game. Tough. Hard game. Ah, oh, there are quite a few good ones, aren't there, with Piggy? He just suddenly decided he would dive over the bar, and he dived over the bar, um, much to the horror of the uh, barman, and disappeared. And we all said, Christ, where's he gone? And looked over the bar, and the barman had been down to the cellar and left the flap open. And David, <laughs> perfection as he is, had gone straight over the bar, straight through the, <laughs> the bar flap, and into the cellar. Um, and he just looked up and said, I'm, I'm okay, I'm all right. Well, you know, that is, that is David, sorry. <laughs> My abiding memory of him is swinging across the Angel Hotel Auditorium on the chandelier, absolutely naked. A few years ago, I think, um, in, in the winter months, it was raining. Uh, pitch was looking a little bit wet and in one little particular patch um, a, a little hole developed so of course it was all a little bit of a drama and the call got made to Piggy he needed to come out and sort it out the other groundsmen weren't around so Piggy had to come out of the hooker I think it was just I'm sure on the very odd occasion that he just had a, a couple too many and of course seeing Piggy walking out with his bucket of sand in his um, in his, his, his blazer and his, um, his tie it, it, it was classic let's just say when I speak to and now he, he talks about the rugby initially he'll then ask how the, how his grandchildren are and then he may ask how I am it's in that order in Piggy's ideal world nobody would go on the field we wouldn't actually play any rugby it would just be there to admire he was obsessed with the pitch focused no obsessed I can only remember one occasion when we couldn't play a match here and that was when the whole of St James was flooded he would get up at five o'clock in the morning go in check the pitch particularly in the summer when they were relaying it and water it and spending hours on the pitch he's very very proud of his ground and, and I think the club are very proud of what he what he does and what he's achieved grounds even known to people as Piggy's patch you know from time to time we've been known to have the best pitches in rugby um, or in club rugby at least and, and we've done that on the back of very little you know and he's got to be applauded for that he's created part of our remarkable reputation both on the field as a player and then on the field as a groundsman the wonderful thing that, that Piggy's maintained in the tradition of the Crooked Hooker we had a players bar there and it was called the Crooked Hooker and um, mm -hmm. We decided that that would be a name that we wish to continue. Hooker has turned into a complete institution. Piggy is the leading light um, in terms of those ex-players. Clearly by the fact that it raises money, the fact that I think the players have their, their lunch there now and everything else, it's, it's that link to the amateur, to the future. Not only is it a great place to go and have a beer and have something to eat, but also it helps the club in you know, providing valuable funds. Hopefully there's a legacy there, they're bringing lots of young players through that you know, he has personal pride. Sarah is a fantastic uh, partner to David. I would like just to say to Sarah, um, Sarah, good luck to you. She um, would rather, I think, he works on. She is an absolute I mean, angel to have to put up with him for all those years, but she's still there, she's still doing it, so God bless you, Sarah, you're a star. I really don't know what you're going to do with that great wallop <laughs> under your feet. Hi, David. Just a warm welcome here from, from us in South Africa. I just want to say thank you from, from our side, myself and Anna and Louisa, um, for the time that we spent over there and the friendship that we have made while I was there, just to, to thank you. Um, also for those rough Sundays that we spent together at some of the pubs, um, I really do miss it. And 
Wish you all of the best for your retirement and hope to see you soon.